Every year, nearly half a million sexually transmitted infections, or STIs, are diagnosed in England, and the number of diagnoses has been rising. Did you know that people of Black Caribbean heritage experience the largest burden of STIs, and that people who report their ethnicity as Black Caribbean are nearly five times more likely to be diagnosed with gonorrhea compared to the general population? Rates of STIs among people of Black Caribbean heritage are disproportionately high. The statistics haven't really improved much over the past 20 years, and maybe if more people knew that, they'd want to be part of the solution, part of the change. The study found three key factors that statistically increase the chances of being diagnosed with an STI. One, having sex for the first time at a younger age. Two, having a greater number of partners overall. And three, having more than one sexual partner in the same period of time. From these findings, the study team identified three actions which might reduce infection among people of Black Caribbean heritage. Empower and equip women with negotiation skills. Improve knowledge of how STIs are transmitted and encourage people to have a respectful approach to sexual relationships. The study team then asked community representatives and public and sexual health sector professionals what they thought about the research findings and the recommended steps. This is what they told us. There's lots of myths around STIs. So encouraging and enabling conversations around our own sexual health is important. We want to know more about STIs, testing, partner notifications, everything. Sure, promoting a respectful approach is important, but talking about consent is even more powerful. We need staff offering sexual health services to be friendly and non-judgmental. We need to empower people to say what they want and what they expect from sex and their relationships. My health is my health, not your health. Ultimately, if we want to make a difference, we need to open the conversation. Strengthening training in cultural competence can help healthcare professionals feel more confident in having more open conversations. Our community and public and sexual health sector colleagues told us that all professionals could and should be doing more to influence change and improve the sexual health and well-being of people of Black Caribbean heritage. We matter. Our health matters. We are counting on you to support us. There are three specific actions that we encourage you to consider. Action one, raise awareness among people of Black Caribbean heritage about how STIs are prevented, transmitted and diagnosed. Action two, Raise awareness among the workforce and share information about how people of Black Caribbean heritage are disproportionately affected by STIs. Action three, encourage more collaborations with local partners and involve the community. We could be involved by championing sexual health in our communities and working with your teams in your settings. Together we can find innovative ways to promote STI prevention and help improve our own sexual health and well-being. It's time for us to revise our approaches and take action to promote tailored and culturally competent sexual health and well-being interventions to prevent STIs among people of Black Caribbean heritage. We can make every contact count by involving the Black Caribbean community representatives in the design, delivery, implementation and evaluation of our campaigns and programs. To make a positive, measurable and lasting impact, we need to build upon our strengths and maximise collaborative efforts. We can all do something, no matter how small. So what could you do? What, what could, could we, we do together? together?